is Kansas City really home to the best softball teams? That question was put to the test at Midwest Sports Productions' Casey vs. the World. And you already know, we couldn't miss the action. In the 10U Open Division, the Tulsa Elite NWA pitching was on point. They held the Phoenix scoreless through four innings. In the fourth inning, pitcher Allison Edwards strikes out the side right before the time limit was called, sealing the deal for Elite. We work together and we stick with each other when people are down and they're having a hard time doing something. And also, it's a learning experience. Yeah, well, we just try to go play in good tournaments where there's good competition, good teams. We understand that if our kids get better, they've got to see lots of different teams and good teams and good pitchers. And so we try to put our kids in spots where they can do that and uh, felt like we played some good competition in this tournament and got better from playing it, and that's what we're trying to do. Bottom of the third in the 12B championship and the Davis County Lightning's bats start to light up. Three singles start off the inning, giving the chance for the huge hit to deep center field scoring two. Then the next batter sends this shot toward the shortstop, putting Davis County up three to nothing over the Dragons, and they go on to win four to one. You know, in Davis County, we're a community of like 2,500 is what Bloomfield is. So small community. We usually go to Des Moines or Oskaloosa. I think the girls really just like to come down, see some different competition. Well, I'm really proud of all my teammates. They did awesome. Usually we're not the best when we first start in the year, and we just this is our first tournament of the year, and we just came out and won it. The 12A division showed the Texas glory taking on the KC attack. This single got the inning started. After that, a courtesy runner takes second after a drop ball and quickly makes her way around the third. After a walk and steal, this line drive to center scores two, and they add on to their big lead, winning 13-3. to it, it just sets a tone for the whole season. You know, we come here, we beat you know, teams from Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Wichita, all over the city. Uh, it really sets us up for a great run. You know, it sets us up for high expectations that we have for ourselves. And, uh, you know, I mean, everybody's going to be coming after us. I think Maya did well hitting because she, what, like, she wasn't doing great, and then she got a home run. And Kayla did really well pitching after back-to-back. -back. And Kirsten played well with the whip, and um, Stoddy had good hits. The 14B Division Championship was a close one, but this screamer gets past the shortstop, getting a runner on, and an opportunity for the strike zone select. Then this deep shot gets over the head of the NWA Legends right fielder, giving the runner a chance to score from first. Then it was time to seal the deal with some great defense with the shortstop and the nice grab. Strike zone select wins this one two to nothing. We have to get on top of the game at first and not at the end. Yeah, basically that. <laughs> We're a close team. It took a lot of practice. All the girls are just really nice and we just like have fun. Then we caught up with our 14A division champs shortly after their victory, and it was clearly about one thing for them. I felt this weekend we really had the bats rolling and we really hit really well, and we all came together and we were just happy to get back on the field. Uh, these people are my best friends, and it's really fun to come out here and just play with them, and we have a great bond and great chemistry with our teammates. Yeah, having the great chemistry helps us in the dugout and helps us on the field to trust each other. Uh, I'd say the team chemistry, especially in the first tournament of the season, uh, that chemistry you got to have that going right off the bat, especially when we get to the to the big national championships at the end of the year. So it was great to see the girls start off like that. I'm very proud of them. The last game of the night came from the MSP Swing for the Rings tournament as the attack took on the Velocity for the high school open championship. Late in the game, runners on first and second, and the pitcher gets the strikeout. Then she works up this slow roller to short, getting the runner out at third. Then this timely hit up the middle gets the runner from second all the way home for the score. But there would be no more as the pitcher gets the strikeout, preserving the attack's 10-4 win. Um, I'm really proud of my team. This is our first tournament we've been playing, and so after all our practices and stuff, we really came together and kind of um, put it together as a team to be able to make it to the championship. We went 5-0 and the whole week, and it was really good. Thanks for watching U-Triple-S-A Midwest News. Stay connected to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all season long. See you next time.